じゃあみなさん。Today I'm going to introduce a way to talk about your past experiences in Japanese. Let's take a look. これはどこですかこれ、富士山ですね。富士山は日本の山です。私は富士山に登ったことがあります。登ったことがあります。This expression is something we use to talk about something that we have done before. 富士山に登ったことがあります。How about this? 私はそばを作ったことがあります。そば is a kind of Japanese noodles ですね。日本の食べ物。そばを作ったことがあります。I have made soba before. So this ta form plus ことがあります。We used to talk about our past experiences. And what I mean by that is we used to talk about I have done XYZ before. Um, I've had the experience of doing XYZ. Um, so this koto is a word that we used to talk about like an intangible thing. So I guess like most literally like I have the thing of having done this thing in the past. So we use it to talk about, um, like, like to answer the question, like, have you ever done X? Have you ever done Y? So, um, putting this like ta form with the koto makes it a noun so that we can use it with ga arimas, ga arimasen. So this expresses your special experience. And what I mean by that is that we can't just use this to talk about like the past in Broad strokes. Like, I wouldn't say, like, Asa gohan o tabeta koto ga arimasu. I have eaten breakfast before. That, I mean, yeah, obviously. Like, I have eaten breakfast in my life. That doesn't surprise anyone, right?、Um, so, this we might use to talk about more, like, unique experiences. Um, to show like something. Oh, I, I've done that before. I've done that before. Like the kind of thing you'd use to answer the question. Have you ever done X? Have you ever done Y? Um, so this we use once again the ta form plus koto ga arimasu. If we want to say that we haven't done it before, we can use the ta form plus koto ga arimasen. So, Fujisan ni nobotta koto ga arimasu. I have climbed Mount Fuji before. Fujisan ni nobotta koto ga arimasen. I have never climbed Mount Fuji. Soba o tsukutta koto ga arimasu. I have made soba before. Soba o tsukutta koto ga arimasen. I have never made soba. So, we wouldn't really use with an expression like, シャワーを浴びたことがあります。Probably not.、Um, but we might use with an expression like, 納豆を食べたことがあります。納豆は日本の食べ物ですね。Um, we also don't really use it with something that's in the super near past. Like, 昨日富士山に登ったことがあります。Sounds a little bit weird. I think we just say, 昨日富士山に登りました、um, So we use it with something that is a little bit further in the past than like just yesterday or last week. We also don't really use it with something that is super frequent. Like, よくそばを作ったことがあります Sounds a little bit strange to me.、Um, we usually use it with something that we have done. Like, just, maybe just a couple times.、Um, so if I was, like, a guy who, like, makes soba at a restaurant for my job, I don't know if I'd say, yoku soba o tsukutta koto ga arimasu. That's, that sounds strange. So,、um, sorry about that. The one thing to keep in mind with this is,、um, when somebody asks you a question, like,、um, nihon ni itta koto ga arimasu ka? Have you ever been to Japan? We can answer with, Hai, arimas, or, Iie, arimasen. Or we can say the whole thing and answer with, Hai, 
日本に行ったことがあります。いいえ、日本に行ったことがありません。The one thing we can't do is we can't just say ことがあります and ことがありません。We have to have the verb there if we want to say こと。So that's just one thing to keep in mind when you're making sentences with this structure.